Hey guys, welcome back to my tutorials and if you remember in my last video I showed you exactly how we can change the font size and the font colour um, on a HTML document uh, within a piece of text. Now what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be focusing on actually how we can directly change the font and as opposed to just the font size and colour. Now the way we're going to do this is I'm going to make a new paragraph so I'm going to just say wherever it is, there we go. Okay, I'm going to end the paragraph. Now, just like what we've been doing over the past few tutorials, we're going to be using the style attribute and then we're going to be having certain uh, variables within it. So, I'm going to have style is equal to, so paragraph style is going to be equal to in inverted commas, and we're going to be using the tag font family, so F O N T hyphen family, F A M I L Y. And then we're going to have a colon. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be accessing the font book because I can't really think of, you know, many fonts off the top of my head apart from probably Cambria, uh, Arial, and probably Times New Roman. But I want, let's say on my webpage, I don't want to stick to the boring three. I want to use, like, something completely different, something that makes me stand out a bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my font book. Now, if you don't know how to access your font book, if you're using Windows or if you're using Mac, then I've made a video which is... Uh, the link is in the description below, so go ahead and watch that, and then come back and continue to watch this. So pause this video and watch that before watching this. Now, I'm in my fonts, and what I'm going to be doing is I want to use something that looks nice. So, for example, American Typewriter is a very nice font to use. So, as I know it's in my font book, I know it's therefore on my laptop, or because I'm uh, actually making these videos on my laptop. And what I can do is I can go out of this because I've seen that it exists. And in my font family, all I'm going to do is type in American Type Writer. Exactly how it was spelt on the font book. And save my file. Open up my HTML document and refresh the page. And as you can see down here, it says down here, the paragraph font is different to the rest. Because these are all in the default font, whereas... The final paragraph is now in American Typewriter. What we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how we can use this, the, use the font family tag to directly put that into um, one of the pieces of text that we've been using. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, or copy my first paragraph and re-put it there. And just like what we've been doing, within our stylings, we're going to be adding font family. And I'm going to be adding American space T-Y-P-E-W-R-I-T-E-R. -E and saving that. And going back to my hello.html document. Okay, and as you can see here, it says this is the biggest red paragraph. But now, this is the biggest red paragraph, which is in the American uh, typewriter font that we've been using. Okay, so that's really about it. So that's how we are able to now... Uh, not only change the font size and the font color, but also the direct font. Okay, so if one final thing before you go is that what happens if the font that you're looking for is not actually in your font book? Well, then what you can do is you can have backups. Now, let's say uh, I knew that American Typewriter was in my font book, but I didn't know whether or not uh, Arial was, so A-R-I-A-L. I know that's in my font book, but just for the sake of it, let's say I didn't. And I save this and try and open up my HTML documents, wherever it is. Okay. And, oh, okay, great. So Arial is in my font book because the font changed to the correct par um, to the correct font that I was using. But let's say it wasn't. Now, let's say I call this Arial's or Arial's. Okay. And I save this. As you can see here, I've now got something that says airy old, and I'm not sure if it's in there or not because uh, I've not bothered looking, but I know that American Typewriter is, and I can use this as a backup. Now, I can have multiple different fonts on my on one piece of text to say that in case one um, font doesn't work, if it's not recognized, then use another one. And if that one doesn't work, then use another one, and so on and so forth, until we find one that actually works. So if I save this and now open this, what you'll see is directly, since Arial was not uh, a part of my font book, it can't be used. 
So checks the next one, which is American Typewriter. And as American Typewriter is actually in my font book, therefore uh, American Typewriter is presented to us on the web page itself. Okay, so um, I hope that has been an easy enough explanation for you guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, then feel free to leave me a message down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.